to meet actor, director, award-winning, and amazing creative talent, Sean Astin. And let's bring Sean out and we will start the show. I want to be able to see my people. <laughs> La gente, hola. hola. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Gracias. I like being in San Jose, man. That's where Latinos in California come to feel comfortable. I love it. Um, thanks for everybody coming out. I mean, look at this panel. This is like awesome. This is really cool. It's the end of the day too. I mean, it's Sunday. You got everybody. You have, you have to work tomorrow, right? School tomorrow. Sorry, I don't. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just Facetime with my wife and kids in the car, and they're all sat around the kitchen table doing homework for tomorrow. So I was like, well, I'll bring everybody down at the con too, so we'll all be. <laughs> Um, it ends up being the Sunday reality moment. But that's okay, we're still having fun today. You know, I came out here a little bit ago and I, I kicked off the Geek Fashion Show. Were any of you here for the Geek Fashion Show? I saw them all getting dressed backstage. It was, I don't think I'll ever recover from that. Uh, and then there was something else. Today is, um, was it something in the Yu-Gi-Oh world? Um, somebody came up and they had, you know what I'm talking about? Does this make any sense? No? <laughs> what? It's, um, it's, it's Yu-Gi-Oh's birthday. It's Yu-Gi-Oh's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you, young person, for helping me out. <laughs> I'm helping this audience out. They needed to know about Yu-Gi-Oh. We, we go too much of our life without Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Uh, and I like Totoro too, but it's not his birthday. <laughs> anyway, um, right, Totoro was here yesterday floating around. I think there's one downstairs right now. That's cool. I'm my, big, my big disappointment for the con is that I didn't get to meet Waz. I'm totally bumming everybody out. It's terrible. I'm going to do a little dance in a minute. It's going to be much better. <laughs> Yeah, but so, so, yesterday, so I flew up on Friday from LA and came to the convention. It was kind of like, it was, I was here right at five o'clock Friday when it just opened, so people were starting to come in, and after two hours, I had to fly, I had to go back to the airport and fly, thank you, <laughs> thank you for feeling me right there on that. He goes, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> so I flew to Phoenix, and I got a couple hours sleep in Mesa, Arizona, and I woke up and did my charity 5K. My run third 5K. Wow. It was an incredible success for me. 650 people out there. The mayor of Mesa. Mesa is the 31st biggest city in the country. That's, there's like hundreds, there's, well, how many cities are there in America? Big cities, well, maybe 500? It's way, it's a big city. And they gave me the key. So, San Jose is the 10th biggest? Yeah. Yeah, but nobody gave me a key to this city of San Jose. <laughs> I still, have to, I still have to pick locks to get in anywhere. <laughs> um, but anyhow, so that was amazing and news came out and the city council people were there and the students, we had, I think we had 350 elementary school students running the 5K and it was, well, it was great, it was so great. So we finished that and then at 10 o'clock I went back to the airport yesterday and jumped on a plane and came back to San Jose so I could do convention. So when the convention was over at like 7, 7.30 last night, I, then I fell asleep. <laughs> and, uh, and here we are, we get to enjoy the, the, uh, the, the diehards, the purists, <laughs> the true fans, the, these are the true fans. And, and if we want, I'm, I think the mayor of San Jose was lurking around over the course of the weekend, so if we need to find somebody with well, keys. Well, if you ask for the key to the city, it's kind of cheesy. You want them just to <laughs> offer it, you know what I mean? Like, hi, Mr. Mayor, you got anything in your back pocket you want to give me? That's not okay. That's not okay. Uh, but I got to say, this convention has the best advertising of any convention I've ever been at. It is, and I've been doing it for 17 years now, and, and but like going into the airport and on the streets and on the new, like it's just everywhere. This little... Comic Con or whatever it's called, Silicon Valley 
the SVCC. Yeah, it's what? The shield is everywhere. The shield, yeah. yeah. Cool. So welcome. You're part of. There's yet another gang sign for us to learn, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we, uh, me and, and my closest thousand friends here, <laughs> uh, I, I know that there will be a plethora of questions. And we all know that you started off not just as a child actor, but the, the son of a child actor. So this is in your blood, this is your heritage. Um, your, your brother, uh, Mackenzie as well, um, and when, when you transitioned, you actually went into formal education. You went and actually learned how to be an actor. How did that start out? Um, so there's nothing, uh, first of all, thank you for bringing up my mom. He's referring to Patty Duke, my late mother. Helen Kellen and the Miracle Worker, and then she went on to have her her uh, the Patty Duke show, or the named after the uh, me Patty, who's been most everywhere. <laughs> the bar, the bar is fair. The Patty's on the scene, the sights of girls see from Brooklyn Heights, but the crazy pair, but their cousins, identical cousins. <laughs> Walk alike, they talk alike, sometimes even something alike. I don't know the words. <laughs> There's one lyric where it's, uh, 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 Kathy adores a ballet russe, a crepe, Suzette, Suzette, yep. and a minuet, something like that, and a hot dog makes, and Pat, for Patty, a hot dog makes her lose control. Yep. That's the lyric, that's the actual lyric. A hot dog makes her lose control. I don't know how that one got by there. <laughs> Somewhere my wife is, is surreptitiously singing that song in her head, and she doesn't know why right I have it on, or I used to have it on my phone, I would just, take it out and play for people. And then my dad, John Aston, who adopted me when I was a little little baby, um, yes. That was full applause for adoption and for John Aston. Uh, who was, so he was Gomez and the original Adams Family. He was one of the uh, Riddlers yep. in, uh, in, the, in the TV show. And um, he was in Night Court. He was in Night Court, yeah. And he was Briscoe County Jr. Like the, everybody, you always hear about um, uh, Firefly being canceled and the, the injustice to the fans. I think Briscoe County Jr. should be like that. Um, so yeah, so those... Uh